He said, would you rather be James Evans or George Jefferson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, who yeah. would you say you That's got the real. most respect? Right. Between That's the two real. Of them? And why? You really? Whoa. No. Like, because if you, so if, you know, if, if you say on every fucking sitcom dad, hey. James Evans would whoop all their asses. Yeah. And they kid and his kids would hype them up more than any other motherfucking Lionel or Jenny would right, for right, fucking right. George. I would say JJ respected James more than Lionel respected George. I would say society respected George more no. than his sister. Fuck society! No. George got his I'm ass on the phone for every no. day. That's why I started talking shit to me and I am James or George. <laughs> George gave a fuck about what society thought. <laughs> so James did. Exactly. There was a freedom. About his there was a peace. And not give a fuck exactly. about what these people think. Exactly. exactly. has no idea. And that's about the shit we do. What? Everybody in this room said that George didn't give a fuck about. He didn't really care what other people thought. That's why he was talking shit. Absolutely. Which show did he start from? What show did he start from? He started calling him the name. About, huh? Mr. Winkendale or whatever the fuck that white man name was, he always wanted to bite for dinner if someone asked for it. That didn't happen. It didn't happen. Any white man you saw in the Evans residence, hey, James couldn't wait to kick the fuck out. <laughs> James was kicking people out of the project, yes. George was setting himself up to establish several dry cleaners. I'm not well, was George. George. No, hey, hold on. No, hold on. No, no, no. James would have wanted to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm confused. Let me take my glasses <laughs> off again. Fake glasses this off. Mili this militant motherfucker, all right, is talking about George Jefferson on some hope shit, on some hope living for the man, and we talk about James Evan. George Jefferson was fucking militant as it ever been. George and he, Jefferson. And he on the George Jefferson side. George Jefferson. Fuck out of here. Damn. 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 Was Tom Tom or was George Jefferson not his I own boss like and the sole owner of several dry cleaners? Great. What do you mean? That's the dream. That's the legacy. Yeah. That's okay. the ideals. That's the Who? That's the the that's the that's the why should you do that? No. 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 We have seen people that have fought for that dream, yeah. and 20 years into their shit, they get laid off before they can get their rightful pension. Or they stop fucking with their business and it's a rat. Now what you got? I've had old white you people tell me they left okay, corporate America. Fuck, 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 fuck corporate America. I was in corporate like... America 20 something years. I said, what do you do now? I was, no, hold on, listen. I said, what do you do now? I was at a beer festival. They said, you see this tent? We rent these out now. <laughs> I mean, bro, the simple life sometimes, like, come on, wait, 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 and they still wait. making it killer. Exactly. But who's to say that being the owner of several dry cleaners wasn't the simpler life? He wasn't working dry cleaning, he owned the businesses. But also, he every day, time. he had to fight uphill every day to get knocked back downhill. James was still James the whole time, bro. His right, situation hold up, hold never up. shifted till he went to go get a job and come back. James was a black father in the 70s, raising a family in the project. His everyday life was a struggle yeah. and an uphill battle. Yeah. And he died fighting that struggle, trying to make it a was better a, living it was a for struggle. his family. It was a struggle where George lived and we watched James and survived. We watched James on multiple op episodes, had multiple opportunities to do other things, and he turned them down. He went through it with his wife, he explained it to his kids, and he went to work the next day. Early. Like let's be for real. Early like, shit. like 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 unknown. Like, sometimes everybody. sometimes the devil you know is way better than the devil you don't. I'm not saying that George didn't have better breaks than maybe James did. Or George should just have a better vision or an idea that James didn't have. It's a different have. vision. It's because, not better than But, but James's idea of the big break was a job working for somebody else on a pipeline in Alaska. Where George's vision, right. Mississippi, where George's vision was working for myself and having several and, and, that's not, and you know what's crazy? Now that you that. mention that, I feel guilty about this whole goddamn conversation. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, 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 Honestly, when you talk about it, it's all about the reason. The reason that I said I don't want to, and that's why I feel guilty. But I feel like, no, but I feel guilty because now we're talking about better. When we were talking about perspective in the beginning of this, we're talking about if you're okay with this versus would you take this in attention to that to be more comfortable? Would you want your child to be adherent to a certain level of? 
whatever the fuck that is, or would you want them to have the know-how and the life skills, and like just like you said, you're an artist. Yeah. You've had the freedom to be an artist. Yeah. As much as you can sh make sure your tattoo right, you can make sure somebody head right. That's, right. That's being a free artist. Yeah. If he had motherfuckers in his life that influenced him enough to think that his art wasn't enough, mm -hmm. his life wouldn't, he wouldn't be the smiling brother we're looking at right now, bro. Because his understanding of life is not based on working for a company or the man. Right. His understanding of life is using my talents to get my way. So if I have to take $100,000 less a year to do that, mm -hmm. I'm good with that. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. We compare it to the 70s when everybody was bamboozled and didn't know that they was getting redlined exactly. and that if they get their house appraised, they should put white pictures in it. Right. And that's, and now we know all of it. And that's what makes George Jefferson genius. <laughs> 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 